Hello, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Productions studios for another edition of YBM Cast. And today we have our player spotlight going, our PBR uh, guru, Kevin Mulder, with us uh, to talk about these players. Um, Kevin, how you doing, man? Doing great. Looking forward to this ball game. Absolutely. I, I and this is a, these are a couple teams we've talked about with uh, Liberty and Holt, and uh, we haven't had a chance to see them yet this year. So I, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we got uh, four players that we're going to take a look at, and we're going to start on the let's start on the Liberty side, uh, and let's uh, talk a little bit about Seth Bennis. Yeah, Seth Bennis, one of the top uh, junior arms in the area, having a big season. Um, you know, has 44 punch outs and 25 innings. What you're going to see out of Seth, um, you know, he's got a fastball that can get up to 93 miles per hour. Um, he'll comfortably sit in that 89, 91, um, and he's got a big curveball to go with it. Um, so he, he's been kind of so go uh, Liberty, so go Seth Bennis, um, or vice versa there. So he's, he's the key. He also swings the bat for him. Um, hitting 333 for him, so a key component of the team. Very good. And on the other side of that, uh, Sam Gordley has been uh, on the backside of that pitching duo, but he's also a guy that uh, gets done pretty well with the bat. Yeah, Sam's having a nice spring. Sam signed with uh, St. Charles Community College, having a big year at the plate, uh, hitting 371, and then uh, also a uh, key part of the pitching staff and they're going to need him to perform especially on the mound uh to form a nice duo there with uh with Bennis and what you'll see out of Sam on the mound is you know a mid 80s fastball up to 87 with a pretty good breaking ball and um you know for, for him if he's attacking the zone he has swing and miss stuff so it's a, it's a really nice one two combo there um for um Wentzville Liberty is is going to be – that's going to be interesting to see. I don't know if we'll see either one of those guys on the mound against Holt on Friday. That'll be – I don't know. But we'll definitely see him in the field. They'll be playing. I think Bennis has been playing uh, first base. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, Gordley plays in the uh, – I think he's an infielder, if I'm not mistaken. An infielder, yeah. So then uh, their opponent for uh, this contest, Holt uh, – you know, Holt is is good this year. They're a solid team. They've got some really good players. And the first gentleman we want to look at here is Chase Beatty. Yeah, Chase Beatty, uh, one of the top bats in the in the area this spring, having a big year. Uh, signed with St. Louis University, um, has five homers on the year. Leads a team with RBIs. Um, he can hurt you. He can do damage. Um, you know, has an exit velo of around 100, 100 miles per hour. Can really swing the bat. He, he's shortstop for the team. You know, long term, he'll probably be a corner infielder uh, at the Division One level, but does a really nice job uh, on the middle of the diamond for Holt. And then we have a, a, a young man you were talking about when we were at the PBR showcase in February. Um, said you really liked him offensively and Chase Lasseter. He's not disappointing this year, is he? No, yeah, uh, one of the better uh, young guys performing well at, on the varsity level. Uh, Chase is a, a, a sophomore. Chase Lasseter is a sophomore uh, starting catcher um, <clears throat> for Holt, uh, hitting over 400 for him, can, swings the bat from the left side, uh, and a strong defensive catcher. So creating an impact on both sides of the ball as a sophomore and, uh, and doing big things, and he's going to be a guy – uh, that we're going to need to have our eye on for the next couple of years uh, and, and should end up being a, a pretty high level recruit. Um, you know, and this will be the, a big, you know, 12 months to 18 months in that process for him. Very good. Very good. Uh, looking forward to the ball game. Uh, Kevin and I will be out there calling that game on Friday. That's at 5 30 PM central standard time on YBM cast youth baseball Midwest on our YouTube channel. So please, we hope uh, take a few minutes, check that out. Kevin, thanks as always. Appreciate the knowledge. Looking forward to the ball game. Absolutely. All you pitchers, keep throwing strikes and hitters, hit them where they ain't. We'll see you next time.